Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God on highest. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Awesome, wonderful, great Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to Master Jesus. Glory be to God on highest. Great Father. Our God is good. Another beautiful day, another glorious day. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God on highest. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless God for God is worthy. Worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped. What it to be adored, what it to be magnified, we bless the name of the Lord, his worthy. Worthy, 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 worthy. Hallelujah. Let me just. Hallelujah. Glory be to God on highest. Mighty God, I do mighty things. Glory, glory. Our God is good, our God is mighty. Excellent God, wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God, we bless God, we bless God. Another blessed day, another glorious day. We thank God for God. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. I greet you all. Once again, I greet you. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please, I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, Asians so of this, Father God, I give you all the glory, I give you all the honor, I give you all the praise, oh my God. Father, there is no other God like you, there is no other God to compare to you, you are the most high God. You reign it in the heaven, you reign it in the earth, the Lord of hosts is your name, Father. I thank you for this moment, I thank you for this hour, I thank you for another beautiful day. I thank you for your sons, your daughter, the present right now, the one that we present later, the one that we come to later. Oh Lord, my Father, the one that we join later, the one that we listen later, Father. I thank you for each and every one of your sons, your daughters, and Father, and thank you for your blessing for word, Almighty God. Thank you for your waking us up to, to see um, our beloved families, oh Lord. We see your goodness in our lives, oh Lord, Father. I say uh, thank you, Lord, for your goodness, oh, Almighty God, you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, as we want to hear your word speak to each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. But I need power, I need spirit, any personality that want to see your word free away from us. But not that come down by yourself, Almighty God, and fight those battles for, for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give us the grace to understand your word, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 Please, I would, I would like to 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 sing a hymn, uh, the song from the uh, hymn book. Please, if you have uh, your hymn book with you, just look for the title. Let me just open it. Look for the title. The title of the hymn, Immortal and Invisible. Please, if you have... Um, if you have your hymn book, you can open it. Uh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. We bless Almighty God. He's worthy. He's mighty. He says, and that is wonderful. Great Father. Awesome, great Father. Amen, 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 amen. We bless God for God. We thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness, O oh Lord. So, please, if you have your hymn book, please join me. Let us sing to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless God. He's worthy. Our God is worthy.
Glory be to God of highest. Amen. Please join me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Immortal, invisible, from us, most blessed, most glorious. The ancients of this almighty, victorious, thy great name we praise. All resting, all hasting, a silent as no wanting, no wasting, the ruleless in mind, the justice, like mountains, are sign above, the cloud which our fountains of goodness and love to all life thou givest to both great and small in all life. Thou livest the true life of all. We blossom and flourish as leaves on the tree. I will and perish, but nothing changes. Great Father of glory, pure Father of love, thou angels adore thee, O veiling their song, O praise we will render, O help us to see this only the splendor of life ah, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus, our Father, Almighty God. Almighty God, it's chance of days, immortal and invisible God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We bless his soul in the his worthy, his worthy, his worthy, his worthy, mighty Savior. Hallelujah. 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 To the name of God, we bless the name of the Lord. We bless our Savior, our Redeemer, great Father. There is no other God like our Father. There is no other God else like our say, redeemer our redeemer he's great he's great he's great he's great great father we have oh we bless the name of the lord we bless the name of the lord he's worthy he's worthy to be praised he's worthy to be worshipped he's worthy to be adored it's worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. We bless God for God. We bless God for God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. We bless God for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We bless God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Mighty Savior. Mighty Redeemer. 
Alleluia, alleluia to the Lamb of God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you all. I greet you once again. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here to, to see you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless God for your life. And bless God you know, for waking you and I up. For this, uh, we thank God for waking us up to see another blessed full day. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless God, mighty God. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Mighty God that do mighty things. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. What a day, what a day, what a blessed full day that almighty God, can't you and I among the living woke you and I up to see our beloved family and to know him more, to you know, to know our lovely Je Jesus Christ, Mon. What a joy, what a joy, what a joy, what a joy. No, the one that passed on to the eternity right now, that passed on to the eternity uh, tonight or this uh, afternoon or the, in the morning or now, it's not because you and I, we were better than them. No, it's just the grace of the Lord Almighty God. He gave you another chance. He gave me another chance so that we can know him more, loving him more, seeing his goodness and, and his mercy towards you and I, and his compassion towards you and I. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is so good, great Father. Our lovely Father, our God that cares for you and I, that never leave us nor forsake us. I just thank God for God. I could thank God for, for mercy. Father God says to you and I that, uh, that uh, the word of the Lord says to you and I that uh, we have compassion to, to whom I want to have compassion. To, and we have compassion and we have a mercy to whom I want to have mercy. I thank God, God Almighty had compassion on you, mercy on you and I. We bless the name of the Lord. We, we thank God for our lives. We thank God for our families, members, oh Lord. We thank God for, for his goodness, for his lovely kindness. As this, uh, as Almighty God has placed this word for me to, for in my heart to come and deliver to you and to myself. You know, as I always said, that you and I, we are in a journey. We haven't got, we haven't get to our destination. We are on our journey to our destination, to our home. So we travel going home right now we are on our ways we are in we are on our way to heaven so uh, as we are on our way to heaven we cannot afford you and i cannot afford to stay on that way just stay on that way that you know you, you and i just stay on that way not doing nothing not even uh, making the effort to go further because if you stand where you stand you will be there so if you are moving forward, you are going, you are going because you are going, you know where you are heading to. I know where I'm ready to go. I am heading to, we are heading to heaven. <clears throat> That is why you and I, as a child of God, when you and I are hearing the word of the Lord, we should not say to ourselves that uh, I heard I, I heard this word before, I heard this preaching before. Yes, you've heard it before. Continue hearing it. Continue hearing it. I should continue hearing it. Gee, we get it. See that polygate, you and I saw that. So you and I see the polygate, and the, not just only see the polygate, you and I see the polygate, and the polygate open for you and I. The angel of the Lord, the holy angel of the Lord, we usher you and I into the kingdom of God, into heaven, into the city, the heavenly city. So we thank God for God. As we are hearing the word of the Lord, let us continue here. We should not be tired. We should not be, be weary of hearing the word of the Lord. Say, I've heard it before. Yes, you might be you are you might be hearing it before, but Almighty God still wants to start to you. That is why he says to you and I, the word of the Lord says, you and I, as a child of God, living children of God, we must hear the word of the Lord. Say, for, say it come by hearing, hearing the word of the Lord. <clears throat> So if you said you don't want to hear the word of the Lord, before you know, the little one that you have already have in your heart, the little words, the words of the Lord, the one that you have already have in your spirit, you have already have in your heart, because you are not, you know, you are not letting the word of the Lord continue, continue polishing you before you know the person will bust lead. That is why Father God said, in the word of the Lord said, you and I, we must 
be hearing the word of the Lord. So we should not say to ourselves, uh, again, the word of the Lord. Yes, again, the food, you are eating food. You never, you and I are never tired of eating food. You and I are never tired of drinking, uh, drinking water. Drinking water. We, we, every time when we test, we, when we, we go to the tap or we have our bottle, we fill it up or you buy water in the, in the shop, you drink. You are not saying to yourself, ah, because I drank water this morning, this afternoon I will not drink. In the evening I will not drink it because I drank in the morning water. No. You are, when you know you are thirsty, you go, you drink. At times you don't, you, you are not waiting for you to be exhausted of testing of water. You drink every, th every time. You just having a, a sip, a step by step, having a step to keep yourself, to keep your system working. The word of the Lord is food and a drink. As what the Lord Jesus Christ says, he is the living water. Jesus Christ is the living water. The living water, spiritual water. Jesus Christ. So you and I, as we are drinking water to keep our system function, working well, the same thing we have to keep our spirit. We have to keep our spirit by you and I drinking the living water of lovely Jesus. That you and I, spiritually, we are, we are fashioned, we are feed, we are feed, soldier of the Lord. Because you and I, we are soldiers of the Lord. So if soldiers, if a soldier are weak, so the enemy can defeat the, so, those uh, soldiers. The enemy can defeat them because they cannot have, if the soldiers are weak, they, don't, they cannot have that, that strength, that power to, to hold their gun and their ammunition. They cannot be able to hold it because they need the strength. They need the strength. They need the power. So they need food. They need drink. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The word of the Lord is food to your spirit. It's food to my spirit. The word of the Lord is water, spiritual water that helps you, that strengthens you and I to stand firm in the word of in the in the word of the Lord in our lovely Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the as Almighty God has given me this message to come and deliver to you and to me. Please, please listen. You should, wherever you are, please listen. You shouldn't say, I've heard it before. The Almighty God wants to, even though you heard it I mean, a million times, continue hearing it until that day. God will call you home and that poly gate will be open for you. And the, the angels of the Lord will show you into the kingdom of heaven. So we are going to... Uh, read the word of the Lord, the word that the Almighty God has placed in my heart for you and I to, uh, to, to know, to hear his word. The word of life. The word of, the word of God is life. The word of God is life. So, so the type two of, uh, you see, we bless the name of the Lord. The title of this message be because ye are strong. Because ye are strong. Because we, the children of God, are strong. What makes you to be strong? What makes me to be strong? In the, in, in, in the, in the, in the spiritual realm, in your spirit and my spirit, what makes you and I as a child of God or to be strong? That is the living water, living word of God. The living word of God makes you to be stronger. The living word of God makes me to be stronger. So when we are eating the word of the Lord, we are drinking the word of the Lord, uh, the spiritual drink. Your spirit man is strong. My spirit man is strong. So you and I can able, now we can able to stand against the enemy of our soul. The enemy that wants to take you out, out of the way. The enemy that wants to take me out of the way. When I'm stronger, the enemy will not able to pull me out. That is why I love you, Jesus Christ told you. And now in the book of Matthew, he said that before, he said that before the thief will come, he said the thief is coming, but the man, the owner of the house will have to be prepared. So the owner of the house now has to be prepared, have many things that he can able to stand at that, uh, strong, to able to defeat the enemy that coming. The one that coming to come and rob you. The one that coming to come and rob you spiritually. I'm talking about spiritual things right now. 
The word of the Lord is precious. The word of the Lord makes you and I to be strong as a believer, as a child of God, follower of Jesus. The enemy coming to steal the word of the Lord that makes you and I, that, that will make you and I to be strong. The word of the Lord, the, the enemy of our soul fighting the word of the Lord in our lives. For you and I, how did the enemy fight in the word of the Lord? How did enemy of your soul, my soul, fighting the word of the Lord in our lives? Is fighting the word of the Lord by you and I not obey the word of the Lord? By you and I rejecting the word of the Lord, rebelling against the word of the Lord, saying that it doesn't matter. That is it. That is what the enemy wants. Because he's fighting your inheritance. inheritance. Your inheritance is the word of the Lord. Your inheritance, the spirit, your spiritual, your, your, what is it called? Your, 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 your salvation is your heritage, is, is your inheritance. My salvation that Lord Jesus Christ have, uh, gave to me, blessed me with, is my inheritance. The enemy fighting my inheritance. He wants to see my inheritance. He wants to see your inheritance for you and I not to obey God. So if you and I don't obey God, so we can, uh, enemy, he can come and, and, and do what he wants to do in our lives. But when you and I, we are standing in the word of the Lord, we know what is in there. What Almighty God has given to you and I, as the title of today, because ye are strong. You are, you are strong. I am strong because we have the word of the Lord. Without the word of the Lord, you know, you cannot, you, without the word of the Lord, you are not strong. Your spirit man is not strong. Without the word of the Lord, your spirit man is not strong, it's weak. The enemy, the flesh can defeat the flesh, the flesh can defeat the spirit, your spirit, and the spirit, your spirit, anyhow. So we have to be strong as soldiers of the Lord. Our soldiers of the Lord, wherever you are, may the Lord bless you and be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the word of the Lord. Stand and take off the word of the Lord. When Father God said, I don't want this, I don't want it. I want it. I want this. This is what I want you and my, my daughter, my, my sons. My, this is what I want you to do. That is what you and I must do. We must do the will of the Lord. We must bow to, we must bow to the word of the Lord. We should not allow the enemy to steal our inheritance, our salvation. Let us watch over it. One day we will get there. One day that poly gate will open for you and I, by the grace of God. But we must stand on the word of the Lord. Obey our Father God. No rebellion. No disobedient. There's no disobedient in the heaven. There's no rebellion children in the heaven. No. Praise Master Jesus. Our lovely Jesus loves us so much. He wants to, he's preparing you and I on this earth right now to know what is called obedience to him, to his word. Because when you and I, now we are practicing the obedience on this earth. So when we get to heaven, the same thing, because it's used to you already, it's used to me already. That, that is why the, oh, the disobedient children, they are not in heaven. Because when they will come there, they will start, they will start what they have, what they what they practice on this earth. The disobedient they have practiced on this earth. Live with the disobedient of it. When they close in heaven, if the earth Almighty God allowed them to come to heaven, they will they will defy heaven. They will pollute heaven because they are disobedient. That spirit is still in them. That is why Father God don't, doesn't allow anyone that, that is sin, sin is sin, in, in that person, your person die with sin. It will not, if, no matter how love Jesus Christ loves you and I, it will not allow that person to come to heaven. Because it's what you, the person die with is what is going with that person. That is why you and I, we saw in our spirit the word of the Lord. We saw in our heart, we saw in the word of the Lord. So we walk on that, that word of the Lord. So when we close our eyes, because now we, you and I, we are obeying our Father God. We are following him with the, with the obedience of, uh, of his word. So when we get to heaven, that is what we will still doing. From everlasting to everlasting. 
May the Lord bless you. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. So we are going to read the word of the Lord. Please follow me to the book of First uh, John. First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. Please uh, write the verses down when you when, uh, write the, 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 um, the chapter down, the verses. When you have time, go there by yourself and read it for yourself. Oh, Almighty God will speak to you. We minister to you. So in the book of uh, First John chapter 2, verse 12 to 17, let us read the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The book of First John, the book of First John, First John chapter two, verse twelve to seventeen. I read in Jesus' name. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. You for the His name's sake. Mm. I write unto you, fathers, because ye ne have ne known Him that he is uh, from uh, the beginning. I write unto you, uh, young, young men, because uh, ye ne have uh, overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because uh, ye have uh, know the father. I have uh, written unto you, fathers, because ye have uh, known him that is uh, from uh, the beginning. I have uh, written unto you, younger men, because ye are uh, strong, and uh, the word of uh, God uh, abide in you. Amen. And uh, ye have uh, overcome the wicked one. Amen. 15. Love not the word. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is, is, is not in him. 16. For the all that is in the world, the world, for all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh and the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. 17. And the world perish, uh, sorry, and the world passeth away, and uh, the lost uh, thereof, but uh, he that uh, do does uh, the way of God abide there forever. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord, beloved. So the verse, the last verse, the, the last chapter, the last uh, uh, verse we, we read, verse 17. The last word there, the last word there, he said, he uh, says to you and all, he said, uh, but uh, he that uh, do, he that uh, does, he that uh, does the will of the Lord abide there forever. So when you and I, we are doing the will of the Lord, we, we, we abide forever with him in heaven, live with him in heaven. He, he that does the will of the Lord abide forever. That is the word of the Lord. So if you and I, as a child of God, we are not doing the, the, the will of the Lord, please sit, sit up and think about it. Please sit up and think about it. If you and I are not doing the will of the Lord. So the word of the Lord said, he that does the will of the Lord abide for that. But in the one that doesn't do the will of the Lord, what happened? May the Lord give you an eye the grace to do the will of the Lord. So the, you see, the, right, the, the letter, the, the letter, uh, Apostle, uh, Apostle John, John the beloved, the letter he wrote to the to, to he wrote to the fathers, he wrote to the young ones, he wrote to the children, he wrote to all of us. He wrote to all of us, uh, encouraging you and I to oh, you and I for you and I to overcome the wicked ones, for you and I to overcome sin. That is the word of the Lord. He the word of the Lord encouraged you and I here. He encouraged you, Father. He encouraged you, fathers. He encouraged you, mothers. He encouraged you, the youth, the, the, the young one, the small, the, the, the great and the, the great and the small. 
the word of the Lord encourage you here. Overcome sin. Overcome the wicked ones. It is possible for you and I to overcome. If it is not possible, the word of the Lord will not tell you that uh, you overcome of sin of the, the wicked ones. As the word of the Lord said in 15, as the word of the Lord told you in 15, he said, you and I, we should not love the world. You and I, we should uh, what? Overcome, the, uh, overcome sin, overcome the wicked ones, and you and I, we should not love the world. In verse 15. The, the verse 15 told you and I that you and I, we should not love the world. Not the things of the world. We, we use them as a child of God. Money is here to use. We use them, but we don't let the money be our God. We use the food, we eat the food, we should not let the food be our God. We use the clothes, we use the everything that we need to use on this earth. We use it, but we should not let them be our God. We use them for Jesus' sake. We should not let them dictate to us. We should not be addicted to them. That now, because of, because of those things, because of the money, you don't want to serve God. Because of the money, you want to you want to have more, 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 more. You don't go to church. You don't join the bread and to follow, fellowship with God. If now you don't even have quiet time, you don't have a time that you said to say you want to talk to your father. Now you let the money have in you instead of you having that money. Praise Master Jesus. You love the word so much that you now, you dress, you know, you just extravagant. You buy, you buy your, your dress, it's good to buy. But now you're going to the, to, to the, to the point of you going to death, borrowing to buy others, your clothes or shoes. And the one that you have, because now you love him so much, love him more than your God, you you could spend how much money to buy those clothes and those shoes. And you have forgotten to buy the word of the Lord to maintain your spirit, your spirit man. Because when you and I you pass on those clothes, those expenses go to have, but when you now make them be, you are addicted, make them be your God. You, are, you pass away, I pass away. Those things will be here. But the word of the Lord that you sow in your spirit, in your heart, is the one that will go with you. All you labor for, all the, 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 the houses, the shoes, the bags, the expensive bag, all the expensive shoes, all things that you, that you labor for. Because of that, you don't know your God. Because of that, you don't take the word of the Lord serious. You take the word as a child of God. You take the word of the Lord so lightly. So loose. You don't have time for your God. The word of the Lord told you and I. That you and I, we should not love the world, not the things of the world. That you, the things of the world will deter to you to fellowship with your father. The things of the world will mess you not to join the brethren to worship. The, the love of the world will make you to disobey Father God. The, world, the, the love of the world will make you to lie anyhow. You love the world. You see what they are doing in the world. They lies, you join them, you lie. They cheat, you join them, you cheat. They fornicate, you join them, you fornicate. They, they're full of adultery, you join them the same thing. Or full of gossip, barbiting, you join them. You, you. This is the things of the world you and I should not partake with. Because you and I, we are, we are children of God. Love of the Father, love of the Almighty God. God, Almighty God loves you and I so much. He warned you and I, we should not love the world, not the things of the world. 
Mandarius, Tambi, Sabi, at your at your brother's back. Father God said you and I should not. That is the love of the world. You tell your brother right now in the front of your brother, I love you so much. Oh, you are without you. Oh, I so I love you so much. You are the best. You are the this. You are the this. You are the this. Oh, you too good. You too good. You praise that person for finish. The love of the world, when that person is turning back, immediately you are cursing that people. Do you know that uh, some people, they are used to those things? Why? Because it's, they are possessed with those things. They are possessed with those demons. That they will tell the good things in front of somebody. They will praise you so much. They will now all your mighty, your might will be so ah, uh, this person loves me so much. It, you know, I thank God for God. Our God is the one that knows how to keep secrets. <laughs> the secret of man. Oh, if my if Almighty God can reveal to you the heart of people, you and I will say, hey, hey. <laughs> Then we praise you so much. After praising you, you just turn by and say, ah, look at, look at, it thought, I, it thought I'm really mean what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Get out of my face. I'll do this. Mm. They start saying something that is not pleasant. <laughs> ah, that is the words of the Lord. <laughs> that is the word, that is the Lord love of the word. You and I should not love the word. We should not love the things of the word. We should not bite like they are biting. We should not curse as they are cursing. We should not we should not steal stealing by tricks because they are that is the love of the world. Almighty God warn you and I. All those love of the world is not of Him. He's holy. He's righteous. He's a righteous judge. A righteous father. He's telling you and I because he know he knew what is in the world. He knew that everything that is in the world, it will lure you and I. If we follow it, we love it. It will lure you and I away from him. He doesn't want anything to take you away from me. He doesn't want anything to take me away from him. That is why bringing this word to warn you and I. Don't love the word of don't love don't love the, the, the don't love the the word don't love the things of the world. As the word of the Lord says here in the verse in the verse fifteen, the book of John, the book of First John, First John chapter two verse fifteen, the word of the Lord said, that, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If any man, listen, if any man love the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Praise Master Jesus. And, uh, have, you, have you heard it? The word of the Lord said, if any man love the world, the, if any man love, uh, love of the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So you are there. On me. Here. I said I love the Lord. But one hand, I love the Lord. The other hand, I love the word. The word of the Lord said the love of the word is not in you. If you are the one that loved the world, even though you are said you are a child of God, I'm, I'm born again, I'm a believer, but you love the word. You're doing the things that they are doing. The word of, the word of the Lord said that his love, the love of God is not in you. It's not me that said it. That is which we just, the, 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 the word of the Lord which we just read says so. That if you and I love the word, the love of the Father is not in us. So you cannot deny it. I cannot deny it. So that means we should not love the word. No, neither. He said, neither the things of the world. Neither the things of the world. So this says here in any phase 17 in, in, in uh, 16. He says that from the earth that is in the world, mm, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the flesh, all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, 
and the loss of the eyes and the pride of life is not of God, but of the world. All those lost, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, the pride of life is not, in, is not of God. Father God said, you and I, we shall not love the world, nor the things of the world. And he told us what you and I should not love. The loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, the loss of the, of the, in the, in the pride of life. You see yourself. You know yourself. I know myself. You know when you are pride, when you have that spirit of pride and nobody reach you. You see everybody like, like low, lower class. They are not, they don't reach me. They are not my class. No. Of life. I have this. I be here. I be here. I be here. I have this. I have this. When you are people talking, only your mouth we are hearing. What you have done in this thing, the country do you went to, the this thing you did, the my, how many emotions you have, how many, then nobody reach you. The pride of life. It's not in God. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, look at lovely Jesus. When lovely Jesus Christ was see on this earth, the God of the whole universe. He humbled himself so low. He humbled himself so low. He humbled himself so low that the, his own the, the own creature that he created, they were abusing him. He didn't re retaliate. He didn't retaliate. They were abusing him, calling him them. He humbled himself so much. He bowed, he, he bent down himself. He put on the towel, tight towel, and he washed his disciples' feet. The God of the whole universe. So we you and I must copy our Father Lord Jesus. We must follow his footsteps of humble of, of a humility. The pride of life is not of God. Look at Jesus, read the word of the Lord. You can see how Jesus walked on this earth. So humble. Humble. That is why he told you and I how to be humble. If somebody invites you, Lord Jesus Christ said, What does that say? He said, If somebody invites you, to a party, to, 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 to a wedding, wherever they invited you, don't go and sit in the higher place. He said, instead of it, look for the backside, the lower place, and sit there. Because when you go there and sit there, sitting on the higher place, the person that invited you will come. He said, please come down, come down, come down. It's not, I have somebody, that place is reserved for somebody else. Please come down, go back. Say, so what, what will happen to that person? Shame. He tells you and I how to be humbled. Praise Master Jesus. He said the pride of life is not in, in our Father Almighty God. Praise Master Jesus. I want this. I want it. My, what my eyes see. I want it. I go to my friend place. You go to your friend place. Anything that your friend God have, you want to have more of it. The loss of the eyes. The loss of the eyes. The loss of the flesh. Ah, I want to fornicate. Ah, I see that woman. I see that man. Ah. Oh. So in verse 17, the book of uh, First John, chapter 2, verse 17. Now he said, uh, and uh, the word uh, answered a way. And the loss thereof passes away. But he that does, he does the will of the Lord abide forever. You and I, let us do the will of the Lord. It will profit, it will profit me, everlasting profit. Everlasting profit, from everlasting to everlasting profit. Let us do the will of the Lord. Let us obey our Father God. We should not disobey Him. He said, "This one, you should run away, run away from the loss of the of the of the flesh, run away from it. No adultery, no fornication, 
Run away from the loss of the flesh. Run away from the loss of the eyes. I want money, money, money. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Run away from it. Run away. Pride, run away from it. Because Father God said to you and I, those things are not from him. You and I, we do the will of the Lord. On that day, we welcome you and I home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us turn, turn, turn to the book of John. John chapter 15, 19. John chapter 15, verse 19. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless God. He's worthy. 15, John chapter 15, verse 19. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you as of the world. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Therefore, the world hated you. Hey, have you seen it? Have you heard the word of the Lord? The word of the Lord is telling you, Jesus is the one that spoke here. He said, the world will hate you because you are not of them. You don't dress like a dress. You don't go where they go. You don't lie where, where they lie, how they lie. You don't cheat like they cheat, they will hate you. They will hate you, they don't want anything to do with you. He said, because why? Lord Jesus Christ said, because why? Because you and I has been chosen. We have, we, have be cho we have been chosen from the foundation of this world. That is why the enemy hates you and I. Because we are not buying to their, to, the, to their lives. We are not buying to their things, the things of this world. They will hurt you. They will hurt me fine. Let them hurt you. Let them hurt me because I'm not, I'm not of this world. This world is not my home. Heaven is my home. Why should I let? If they, if they love me, fine. If they don't love me, fine. I will leave them here. Because this earth is not my home. This, this world is not my home. Lord Jesus Christ told me, told you and I in his word that you and I, they will hate you, they hate you and I because you and I has been chosen. He has chosen you and I. So if the word you are now wearing the word, the word, the word, the word love you. That means you are with you. You love what they love. As a lie, you lie to you lie. As a gossip, as they are keeping malice, you did this. You are doing the same. As they are gossip, you are doing the same. As they are cheating, you are cheating. As they are fornicating, you are saying the word will love you. Because you are doing the same thing that they are doing. They will love you. In the working place, everybody cheating. And when they see the money, they call you, they will let us share the, 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 the word we are, no? The word we, we got and all those lies uh, stealing by trees. And you stay with them, you, you, you enjoy it all so much. And they share the passion, they share your own passion and give you your own, your own part. And you are happy. So tell me why they will not love you. Tell me why they will not love you in that your working place. That they're stealing. On the end of the, the, the day, they are gathering the money. They said, now, let us share the chain. You are sitting there, oh, yes, yes. Ah, we are, we are, we are, we are, Joe. Oh, I'm this, why? Oh, God bless me. Which God? They will love you. They will not persecute you. Stand out and tell them that when they call you, then let us know. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't join those things. I'm not, the, you can do it for yourself. Don't call me, minus me. You will see that way they will hate you. Because they know you are different. If they want to do something secret, if they want to do something, they will keep it secret from you because they know you will, you, you will count yourself out. You will not, no, don't count me in. Don't call me. Whatever you are stealing in the company, don't call me. I'm not involved. Don't share. Don't give me any portion. I don't need your portion. They will hate you. They will hate you very well. Is it your family? That now you are telling your family, if you are the one you say you are a Christian, and the, 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 your people, your family, they are still calling you 
for you to support, to do a sacrifice of their idols. You are still bringing money. Uh, they want to do the sacrifice of this to their God. You know, it's tradition. We need to, you, you to support. Bring this as well, and you take your money in your, in your, in your, in your wallet. You, you send your money to them. Hey, they will love you. So what is the difference between you and them? They are celebrating their idols. They are calling you to support you, supporting them. So what is the difference? The word of the Lord said, don't love the word, not the things of the word. If you and I love the word, the love of the, of, of the father is not enough. So tell me now. So if your family, they are doing those idol, the, those idol things, uh, worshiping their idols, worshiping their gods, and they're telling you bring money, they buy alcohol, they buy the, what they, 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 all those uh, strong drink to celebrate what they're celebrating, cooking, they're cooking, killing their, their, what, their animals to, to worship their God. And now you are giving them money to do it. And if you even nearby, you are sitting with them, you eating it, you said you are a Christian. Which Christian? Which Christian? The love of the Father is not in you. Which Christian call yourself? Tell that your family right now. They call you, ah, this person is so, 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 so. They say you should bring money. They want to buy goat and buy any, any animal. There is that, there's the some yearly a family celebration of uh, worshiping their, their gods. And you will tell them, please, my of me. Count me out. I'm not joining you. Please count me out. I'm the child of the most. They will hate you. <laughs> because you are not of the world. They will hate you. They will hate you very well, very well. They will hate you. They don't want anything to do with you anymore. That is why I love you. Lovely Jesus told you that. He said the word we hate you. Because when you don't accept what they are doing, the offer they are giving to you, you are not accepting it. They will hate you. But if you say you are a child of God, you are taking their offer. You are doing what they are doing. They will love you. The world will love you. There's no difference. But you and I that be separated, chosen by Lord Jesus Christ, we must keep ourselves. We must watch of our salvation. We must watch. We don't hate nobody. We love people, but we don't do what they are doing. Those idols, they are serving. Those gods, they are serving. We don't join them to serve it. We separate ourselves from those things. Lovely Jesus said that we hate you. Not me that said it. This is the word of the Lord. In the book of uh, in the in the, in the book of uh, First John fifteen, the book sorry the book of John fifteen, the book of John fifteen chapter chapter fifteen verse nineteen. Let me read it again. Hear it very well. He said, "If a, if a G were of 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 the world, the world would love his own." Mm. But uh, because uh, ye are not of the word, but I have uh, chosen, chosen you out of the word, therefore the word hated you. Check yourself. If the word loves you, are you doing what they are doing? Are you of, uh, accepting their offer? So we, we should be separated from them. We should be, our, our, our desire, our taste should be different from their taste. The taste of the world should be different from our own taste. Because we are heavenly minded. Not earthly minded. Heavenly vision. You are now, we are focusing on our heaven. Because one day we will be there. We will be there. Not one day we will go there. We will live there forever. That is our vision. That is our goal. Not earthly vision. Not earthly minded. Heavenly minded. You are now. Praise Master Jesus. Let us turn to the book of Luke. The book of Luke. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us turn to the book of Luke 21, verse 34. The book of Luke 21, verse 34. We bless the name of the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 
34, verse 34, I read in Jesus' name. And I take heed to yourselves. Listen, at any time, your heart has been overcharged with a suffering and a drunkenness. And the case of the of the of the life, case of this life, and so that a day, and so that a day come upon you on our way. The day we come upon the person on our way. You know what? There is people, some and the people that pass on last night or this afternoon, or this morning, this morning, or this evening, right now, the day came to them on our way. The day didn't tell them that I'm coming now. We read you, knock it, quack, 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 quack. We read that I'm coming so, 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 so time, and we'll be there for so, so time. No, the day comes, the time, it's time for them to go. The word of the Lord told you, we just read it right now. He said, uh, and they take a heed. You and I, we should take it as a believer, children of God. He said, you and I should take a heed of ourselves. Watch out. I should watch out. This heavenly race is not a joke. He said, listen, at any time, your heart, your heart, be overcharged with a sufficient, with a sufficient and a drunkenness. And the case of uh, this life, case of this life, case of this life. He said, and I saw that in a day, that a day come upon a you on a way. If you are not ready, that is why you and I, we must be ready every day. We must be ready every day, every time. We don't know the day, the, the, the day, Master Jesus, Father God, we say, this is your expiry day. Come home. Come on. Come on, give. Your reckoning day has come. Bring your report. Check your card. Check your, check your record. Check my record. Are you ready? Let us be ready every day. We should take care. Master Jesus is coming. Lord Jesus is coming. Repent wherever you are. Forsake the word, forsake the things of the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the heart, the pride of the life. Forsake them, they are not of God. Say the things of the world. When you forsake them, you and I will know. No, when you forsake them, the world will, will hate you. They will not love you. And be pride. I thank God for the, for the apostles. Apostle Peter. Pastor Peter with the other, other apostles, they were crucified. They, they were, they were, they were, they were they was persecuted. They were persecuted and beating them. Because of what? Because of Jesus. What they said, ah, I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing. I'm, I, 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 I'm can't, I, I, I am can't worthy to suffer for the Lord. Can't worthy. They are beating them. All. None that. They are in the enjoyment too, that they said they are kind, they can't, they're happy that they are now they are they are kind to worthy to suffer for the Lord. So you and I, we, we must be we, because we are children of God. We must count those things worthy. They are persecuting you. Oh, thank God. I am I thank God they are persecuting me. I know my reward is great in heaven. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless it. And let us open to the book of Colossians. The book of Colossians chapter. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2. The book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 3. We bless the name of the Lord. Colossians chapter 3. We bless the name of the Lord. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2. I read in Jesus name. He said, set your affection on the things above. The word of the Lord told you and I. You and I, as a child of God, he says, set your affection. Set your affection on the things above, not on the things on this earth. 
That is the word of the Lord. God is telling you and I, for the, not that day when you and I close our eyes and then, then you start asking questions. Father God, you didn't tell me that I should set my affection on the, the things on the, on, the, on the heaven. That is why I set my, 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 my mind, uh, set everything on my mind, uh, set my heart on this earth. Father God, we said, why you didn't write, read my word? I said, set you, you show you are now. He said, I said that. He said, for he said, set your affection on the things above. Let the things in heaven interesting to you. You just want to be there. If the things in the heaven, the things, heavenly things interesting you, you are hungry, you are thirsty, you want to know about the things of heaven, you want to know about the things of the air, set your affection on those things. Those things above that you and I will spend eternity one day, set your affection there. None the things of this earth. Because we are you are now we will live this earth. We will live, we will live all these things that, that we think uh, we are pursuing right now that we don't have time to, to set our affection in the, the things above. We will live those things that we are seeking right now. That because of that we can we we can we can sin against God. The word of the Lord said, We you and I we should drop all those things. Drop it. Those things you use it. But you shouldn't let them control you. You shouldn't let them take you away from the Lord. I shouldn't let the things of this world take me away from the Lord. Use them, yes. Don't love them. Because when you love them, the love of the Father is not in you, it's not in me. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord give you another grace to set our affection on the things above. The things on the earth, we, 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 we use them. After using them, we are living in here. Because when you die, when I die, it's my spirit and my soul we live. So all this one that I'm putting on right now, everything will be here. The house here will be here. So I'm not taking nothing along. Only my spirit and my soul, the word of the Lord that is in my heart, that is in my soul, that is in my spirit, is the one that will go with me. The money, no matter how much I have in a, in, a, in a bank account, they will be here. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you. And I, this is the word of the Lord today. Please, let us set our affection. The things of Almighty God. It's what you and I will use from everlasting to everlasting. Eternity has no beginning, has no ending. Eternity. Is everlasting. May the Lord bless you and I. Please repent if you love the word more than your Father Almighty God. By you disobeying the word of the Lord, that means you love the word. You love the word. So ask God for mercy. Father, forgive me. Take the love of the word away from me. Give me your love, Father God. Help me to love you, Father God. Show me mercy. Forgive me. Father God, I repent. Show me. Show me mercy. Please, Father. For show me mercy. I, I, I repent. I, I will make my way. I want to make my way right with you, Father God. God, Almighty God, that here is free. He will do it for you. He will answer you because he loves you. He said you and I, we, he has chosen you and I from the world. You know, you are special to Father God. I am special to Father God. As the word of the Lord that we will just, we will first read, he said, be strong. As a child of God, we should be strong in the Lord. For you and I to be strong in the Lord, in the in the Lord, in the in the in the in the Lord, we must be strong in the word of the Lord. It's the word of the Lord. We, we boost your spiritual life, boost your spiritual system. The word of the Lord. May the Lord help you. May the whole may, may, may the Lord, His Holy Spirit, help you and I to love Father God and hate the word. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are the one that see joining your family, joining other people doing evil, celebrating uh, their, their gods, reject it. Reject it. Because you know where you are fighting to go. Heaven is your home. The heaven is my home. Because we will leave those things here. May the Lord bless you all.
In Jesus' name, we bless the name of the Lord, our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank God for God. Father God, I give you all the glory, all the honor, the praise. I thank you for this message. But I use this message to speak to each and every one of us, open our spiritual eyes to understand your word, O oh Lord. Any love of the word in our life, any word of, any love of the word in our heart, Father, you are greater than the greatest. You are higher than the Father, approve those word, the love of the word out of our lives in the name of Jesus of our heart to oh Lord, help us to love you. Pour your love into our heart, Almighty God. Give us the grace to repent in the name of Jesus. My Father, help us to forsake those sins in Jesus' mighty name. Father, any power, any spirit that want to steal your word away from us, let your thunder from above arise and consume those powers in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Father, I see this message with the precious blood of Jesus. Now, please, dear Father God, I thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, if you are out there, you are seeing please i want to pray for you please i want to pray for you our jesus lord jesus christ is the healer he healed it two thousand years ago when he was here he's still the same jesus he's still healing we bless the name of the lord i want to pray for you okay May, oh father god the king of kings the lord of lord the issues of the father thank you for your sons you wrote out there right now mighty god thank you for your children's life in jesus and father bring all your sons you wrote that sick right now in the hospital at home father you our healer father told them oh lord according to your word you say i am the i am the lord that healed thee father heal your children father heal your to the Father, pour your healing rain upon them from the crown of their heads to the soul of their feet. But I heal them in the name of Jesus. Give them spirit recovery in Jesus' name. Flush a, they flush a sickness and disease away from their system, oh Lord. But I strengthen their new system, strengthen their organs, and strengthen every of their tissues, strengthen everything that is in their body, Father, for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for healing your children. Almighty God, you are. Thank you, Lord. All power belongs to your Speak healing, not to all your children right now. All the sons, all the daughters of God that hearing the, the, the sound of my voice that's sick right now, I said, receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen and amen. Father God, I thank you and I bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Shalom, shalom. Mm -hmm.